So in this video here, I'm just going to take you through um, using the cloud-based uh, registration tool within Trimble Rework. So I have a data set here that's imported in my uh, project tree on the side here. I have the name of the project and then I have this registration set. So this group is all individual strands that form one registration set, one group. The reason it's actually called the registration set is because this is going to be next seven, so it's actually been uh, pre-registered, but we're just going to use this one as an example. So under the registration tab, you see we have a, a scan-based registration section. Now, if you were just bringing in um, fill uh, that hadn't been um, hadn't been registered previously, um, you could just use the one of the tools as an auto-register using planes. You could run that, or there's also the option that you when you import your data, you can do import and registration, it will do it in one batch process. For this, we're going to look at the cloud-based registration. So to activate the, the registration tab on the project tree, we're just going to pick this registration set, this group we have here, and I'm going to select the cloud-based registration command. What this will do is it will open up um, separate windows. So you can see here we have the, the reference cloud, so we can pick our reference station and we can pick our moving cloud. And the second step here. If they're actually quite close, so whenever you move over, um, highlight any one of these windows, it expands. So if they're quite close together, uh, what you can do is you can use this automatic um, registration tool. Or you also have the um, interactive pan and interactive rotation tools as well. And then we're fine below that. So just to give an example here, I'm just going to move the scan off. So what you could do here is, yeah, as I said, if they're quite relatively close together, you can always try automatically. As long as you've got a good overlap, that should work. If not, what you need to do is, is use one of the tools, either the pan or rotate. One at the end there is just to centre it, so you can recenter your, your cursor here, and you can move it in roughly into position. Then once you have it roughly in position, um, you can use the refine tool. And that will process cloud to cloud. Um, you'll see the next one here basically gives you a check, tells you what the uh, error was that was found, and the overlap. Now, once you've refined it once, what you can do is you can actually do it again just to see if you can get a little bit better fit out of it. You can actually do that as many times as you want just to try and pull it in further and further. You then have the option here um, to do a registration visual check. You can basically go in and define and create uh, slices uh, to view through your data. So we can do a horizontal slice, top view, and you can see the overlap here. Also change your views. You have the predefined views here just to check your data, check the overlaps. Or you can just pan it around. You can also move through the data. You can set these steps here for the fitness of the slice, and you can also set the steps so you can move through the data and see how it is as you go through it. If you're happy with that, you just close that down. And then what I ask you, what do you want to do? So do you want to add to the reference? So basically, it's just going to be, it's going to uh, combine these two scans together, um, put them in the one group, or you can ask it not to put it in a group if you just basically just want to leave it, or you can merge it with the reference group. So in this one, I'm just going to say, don't create group. So it's like we already have it in a group. Um, and then I apply. 
what will happen next is that all of the light will become a reference and then it will just continue to move up so you would just move progress through them. I wouldn't do a whole site like this, you're probably better to do the, the automatic registration using planes but where you do have areas um, where the scanner struggled a lot bit, such as with mirrors, it might be an idea to segment some of your data out first and then just individually process ones that where you have trouble fitting. So the next thing you would do, um, once you've done this, once you've your complete data set, is again under the registration tab, you would take your group and you would run the refine registration tool. So basically this is, rather than just looking at one scan to one scan, this is going to do an overall refine of the whole project. You select that, it's going to ask you what the reference station is. It's going to basically hold one fixing position and work around from there. Uh, for this, you would just, we're just going to use the first one. Although if you had geo-referenced it, any one of them, then obviously that's a uh, one scan, then that would be the scan you would use. Once the registration is complete, you'll get a, a registration report. It will show you the which scans uh, matched up to other scans and error. For them, you'll get a, an overlap and basically a, a, a confidence level of how well it thinks it's fit. At the bottom here, you'll get an, an overall cloud, cloud error for, for the full project. So anything that it, um, is low confidence, it will flag up. Um, so you can check these ones out. Sometimes it may just be that um, it's just not a lot of overlap or it's been measured from quite a far distance away. So it won't have as much weight as other scans. Um, it can also be if you've been moving objects and stuff like that, it can affect it as well. You, you do have the option here um, to save an RTF. Once you've got your completed fully registered project, you just do another final registration check. 